Hey guys, Buffing Game Bad today, bringing you a video for our weapon conversion series, and today we're going to be covering the brand new weapon here, the Finn LMG, and converted it into the Knights Armament Company Light Assault Machine Gun. So I'll show you how to build it, I'll also show you how to unlock this, and then we'll jump into some recoil patterns as well as to get into the gameplay here. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So here we have the final design of the Knights Armament Company LAMG or the light assault machine gun so further you can see how I have it built here now let's go ahead and back out first off and we'll see how we unlock this so the way you want to unlock this if I go to just a regular class here now since I had already unlocked it it's not gonna say but what you're gonna need to be doing for this is to get one melee kill with an LMG in seven games so the way to do that is what I did I'll just show you guys quickly I just can kit it up a G36 or a Holger 26 here, and you can do this with any LMG class. The key attachment you're going to want is the Breacher device. This is going to allow you to get a one-hit melee kill with the weapon. And then if you are using the Holger, you just want to make whatever weapon you're using as lightweight and mobile as possible. So, for example, I'm just, I just kitted it out very simply. Really what I'm doing here is just getting into the game, right? I'm jumping into the game. I am getting my one melee kill, and then I'm leaving the game instantly and going to another game and then you do that seven games so just jump in get one melee kill this breacher device is going to allow you to get a one hit melee kill and then go ahead and leave the game jump into another game right there and then there is shoot the ship which is up right now so that's the best way to do this i unlocked this in under 10 minutes very simple to do so now that we have it unlocked again let's go ahead and we'll go to the final design that we have here i will strip this down to the base weapon and there's really uh two caveats here i'll talk about but First off, for the muzzle, we're actually going to skip out on the muzzle attachment here for the first off. Now, the barrel. The barrel is a key one here. There's really two attachments you can use here. Now, in real life, the barrel length is 15 inches on the Knights Armament Company LAMG. And this one here doesn't really give us... The only one that gives us the measurements is the long shot advantage, which comes in at 510 millimeters or 20 inches, just over 20 inches. And that's going to be a little bit too long for the weapon that we're building here. Now, the other ones don't have measurements on there. But the two you can use are the base, which seems to me to be around 18 inches. A little hard to tell. Could be 17 or 16. But just to be safe, I'm going to use the FTAC VC-8 Harrier Barrel. So this is, again, this is going to just assist us with the ADS speed and the bullet velocity. This is the Ultra Light Forge Tac Barrel with a milled aluminum shroud. And a large bore reduces weight and improved handling at the cost of muzzle velocity. But again... We'll go ahead and select this one, and then I'll show you the differences between those two barrels here in a minute. But this is going to give us the shortest barrel available for this weapon and allow us to come in around that 15-inch mark that we want for the real-life barrel length. Now, laser, I'm just going to throw a tack laser around here. You can swap out this attachment. It's definitely not necessary. This is, again, going to assist with the ADS speed, aiming stability, and the aim walking steadiness. And the cons here being that the laser is visible to enemies. So we'll go ahead and select that. And now for the optic, we're going to go ahead and want a holographic sight. This is, again, personal preference. You can really use whichever one you want. I think this suits the weapon pretty well. You can also put on an L-Can or a Scout Combat optic there. So this is going to assist precision sight picture. A little extra weight to the weapon, so it's going to reduce the ADS speed there a little bit. but Or, excuse me, increase the ADS speed. So we'll go ahead and put that on. And now the stock, we're going to leave for the base. Now the ammunition, we're just going to swap out and we're going to put on a 100 round belt here. So you can see we get the tan pouch there for the belt versus what we have at base, which is that plastic harder belt there. It comes in with 75 belt fed rounds of the 5.56 by 45 millimeter NATO rounds. So we'll go ahead and select the 100 round belt. Again, this is just going to increase from 75 to 100. The cons here are the ADS speed and the movement speed, which we've really made up with all the other attachments. So it's not too much uh, anything you really need to worry about. So we'll go ahead and select that. And now the last attachment here, one thing you can definitely go with is really any attachment you want. I think that there's such a little recoil on this weapon, and we'll talk to, about that in a second. If you want to be assaulting with it, you can go with a Commando or even a Merc foregrip. But for the purpose of this video, we're going to use the Bipod, and this is also going to show you just how low recoil this weapon is, how much little recoil it has. So we'll go ahead and put this on. It's going to assist us with the crouch and prone recoil control for the weapon. So we'll select that. And there is our Knight's Armament Company LAMG, or the light assault machine gun so you can see right there very nice looking weapon now if we just compare this to the essentially the exact same weapon just using the base barrel i did put a different buttstock on this but again this is the base barrel so you can see it's slightly longer and the handguard is going to be actually more similar i guess to the real life variant of the lamg there's really 
some differences in both nothing's an exact match due to copyright purposes but i guess this is definitely a good option too this is going to give you a little bit over what i believe is 15 inches but again this barrel looks really well on the works really well and it looks good on this weapon as well but that's definitely another option there and then obviously we have our tubular buttstock there very similar to a knight's armament company stock that comes with the weapon as well so we'll go ahead and go back to our weapon just so you can see little things about this weapon the recoil or excuse me the camouflage on this you can just see how that covers the weapon there is going to cover everything except for our under barrel and our optic on the weapon with these particular attachments for the most part there you can see how that looks just some of these look pretty nice on there but i'm going to leave it with the base black i think that looks more uh, aesthetically pleasing for my purposes and then again for the reticle you can swap out whatever you want now some th main things to look at here some differences i guess or some things about the weapon itself you can see the feed tray there so if we were to compare it to the bruin mark 9 or the m249 or some of the other weapons in the game that top cover there is very short and again that's made that's like that for a purpose and you can see like if we were to look at the m249 i believe even that top picatinny is part of that feed tray so you would have to pop all that up and it's just a larger more bulkier attachment to remove and open it up to put your belt in there and this is a very short you'll see in the game when we reload it's a very short part of the weapon instead of it's not very extended again to keep it to keep it lightweight and more mobile very easy to just pop it open clear it and put the new belt in now the barrel again like i said this is around 15 inches from what i can tell we have picatinis on the top bottom left and right obviously there's some differences between the barrel for the real life or the handguard i should say for the real life lamg but nothing too crazy i think this is the closest one you can get you can see you can see more of the barrel here as well as the gas block there as well and again the gas tube is fixed so you have a fixed rate of fire coming around 550 to 600 rounds per minute for this weapon but that is the knight's armor company lamg let's go ahead now and jump into the gameplay here you can see the recoil patterns for this weapon again almost straight vertical very very easy to control the recoil on this weapon and again with its slower rate of fire it makes it even easier to control so again this is going to come in in real life around 550 to 600 rounds per minute and i believe it's probably around 600 here in the in the game you have to refer to exclusive ace in the gun guide for that to see exactly what it is but seems to be around 600 maybe a little bit over but again very manageable recoil on this weapon and that's for a particular reason so in real life this weapon has again developed by knight's armor company first off it is essentially a modernized or what i should say a more an iterative variation of this the original stoner lmg so this is really is that at base just again a more iterative design it's been improved upon over the years same as something like the m4s and the m16s they they're still the same weapon but they've been improved upon with iterative variations of the weapon so this is really the same thing here this is, is the stoner lmg but now again more modernized and improved upon so one thing that this weapon has which makes it very unique again it's designed to fill the light assault machine gun role which essentially it's made to fill the role of an assault rifle user a, rif a rifleman in your squad so the one thing this has that's very unique is a constant recoil system and again it's found on mainly stoner machine guns because i believe it is actually a stoner design but what this is is the system of the bull carry group is fully decelerated by the return spring before hitting the housing to minimize the effect of the recoil so what that means is you have a constant recoil system meaning you just have a constant push nothing heavy on your shoulder when you're firing this weapon because the bolt is not coming all the way back and striking it's being slowed down by the spring so that's the only recoil you're going to feel it's not it's not every time the bolt comes back you're getting a kick it's just a constant recoil all the time while you're firing because of that bolt is being slowed down by the spring and it's never coming all the way back and that also allows it to go forward faster and again reaching over around and it does have that fixed rate of fire of around 550 to 600 rounds per minute so again the light assault machine gun now if we look at this more in depth as i said this weapon has a 15 inch barrel it's a 17 twist hammer cold forge Again, this weapon has a 15-inch barrel. It's a 1/7 twist hammer forged chrome-lined barrel. The caliber for this particular version here that we have in-game for the LAMG is going to be the 5.56 by 45 millimeter NATO rounds, and the weight 
unloaded is going to be a little bit over 8 pounds, and when we have it loaded, it's going to be 11.4 pounds or 5.1 kilograms. So the length overall is going to be 35.5. Again, that's really dependent on what kind of stock option you have on this, since there's no inner workings in the stock. Similar, like if we look look at an M4 and M16, right, the bull housing and everything is, is in there. There's actually inner workings in that those kinds of stocks. So for this one, there's really nothing there. It's just a, st a plain stock. So the length is really dependent on what kind of stock you put on. So it's really going to be anywhere between 35.5 and 39 inches, depending on what kind of stock you're using for this weapon. Now, again, the original Stoner machine gun design began, again, the one we're talking about here for the Knights Army Company LAMG. Design began in 1986, and this is kind of, like I said, an iterative process of the, the original Stoner weapon. The mass overall 5.1 kilograms or 11 pounds when it's loaded here, firing the 556 by 45 NATO. Now there is another variant of this that fires a 762 by 51 NATO, and that is called the Knights Armor Company AMG or Assault Machine Gun, and that comes in at 13.9 pounds. So for something firing 762 by 51, similar to think of like a M60, it's significantly lighter, especially compared to a 240 Bravo. So that's one thing to keep in mind. The reason for that is that the weapon itself is mainly aluminum. They used a Knights Armor Company used a lot of lightweight materials, mainly aluminum, for the weapon to keep it as light as possible and as mobile. So again, eight eight pounds unloaded, 11 pounds when it is fully loaded like this with a 200 round belt, as it comes with in real life. Here we have a hundred pounds, or excuse me, a hundred round belt. Now the barrel length again 15 inches for the LAMG which we have here and then for the AMG we actually have a 20 inch barrel coming in at 508 millimeters. So the AMG barrel is very similar to the length we get with one of the other barrels here. However, we do not have the caliber conversion for the 762 by 51 millimeter. Now the weapon in real life again as I said the 556 the 762 it also fires the 6.5 Creedmoor so that is a new caliber that the United States military is experimenting with in hopefully replacing a lot of the current weapons that fire the 556 with this intermediate caliber the 6.5 Creedmoor. The action for this is an open bolt again constant recoil which I believe is proprietary to Knights Armament Company gas operated system and the rate of fire for this is going to be 550 through 600 rounds per minute and then if we were to look at the amg and the 762 by 51 that's going to come in at 500 to 525 rounds per minute which is on purpose the fire rate for this weapon is purposely slow in order to a conserve ammo and allow for more accurate tar tar shots on target and that in addition to the constant recoil system you have a very very accurate and very effective sustainable fire light machine gun here so the feed system is going to be the m27 linked belt system which we see here on the lamg and it also has very nice iron sights which i would have already shown off here in the recoil pattern i was using these iron sights in game for quite a while until i jumped in the war zone with this today and the iron sights are very, very accurate on this. I really don't even think you need an optic unless you're really planning on getting into wars and engaging at longer targets. But the iron sights on this are amazing, especially in the closer quarters maps. This thing really, really is good. You don't really need any optics on it whatsoever. So let me know down below what you guys think of this weapon. Again, this is the Knights Armament Company Light Assault Machine Gun. And again, the recoil on this 5.56 variant is almost non-existent. With that constant recoil system, you're just going to have a... A very subtle constant push on the shoulder and that's really all you're gonna see you can fire the standing on the move what it's really designed for being the light assault machine gun the name is exactly what it sounds it's mainly like I said meant to fill that role that the m16 or the m4s use the rifleman in the squad it's really designed for that with the bell fed ammunition so you can have more ammunition now I have to reload very lightweight and mobile and then if you do need to lay down cover fire you can do that since you do have in real life a 200 round belt in this case we have a 100 round belt but that's really what this weapon was designed for is assaulting taking objectives and again very lightweight really not meant to be fired in full auto dumping 50 plus rounds is really meant to be fired just like you would an m4 or an m16 really the same exact role as that however what you do have here is a machine gun and the enemy will not really recognize it until you really have to let it rip is really the purpose of this is to just fill that other role and then if you do need to use it as a machine gun you have a machine gun in the squad in case so that's really the purpose of this let me know what you guys think down below again this is knight's armor company lamg we have quite a different variations 
that we can make out of this weapon so let me know down below what you think again very easy to unlock like i said just kit up any light machine gun in the game as lightweight as possible it doesn't have to be the g36 like i showed but i believe that it's probably the most lightweight weapon you can get again next to this one it's really really very mobile overall but just put that breacher device on there jump in to shoot the ship and multiplayer get your one melee kill and then pop out do that in seven games you just need one melee kill over in seven games so seven total and then you can get that in under 10 minutes very easy to unlock and again actually really fun to use once you get it i had a good time i unlocked it on shipment and kitted it right away and kept playing and i ended up going something like 68 and 20 so this weapon very very good even at base without any sights on it the iron sights are very clear and crisp and there's really no need for an optic so let me know what you guys think down below we're covering a few different variations of this throughout the week i think this is probably the most diverse weapon we've had yet there's a lot of attachments on this specifically when it comes to the barrel we have quite a bit of attachments they all have their own unique purpose so i'm really excited to explore those with you guys and we'll make different variations of that so again let me know what you think down below of this weapon this is the fin lmg or the knight armament company light assault machine gun and i'll leave you guys with that until next time this is buffering gaming out Kill that one Striker 321 station, go for task. Allied fucking fight, get